In this quick walkthrough video, I'm going to show you my exact process for recording PowerPoint video slides with narration. Of course, the biggest problem we usually run into is that the animations, transitions, slide builds, and things in our slides are kind of tough to match to narration. I want things to come in exactly when they're supposed to. And this is my refined process for making that happen perfectly every single time. I use this process when I want to create a pro level video presentation. So I don't use it for every single video, but when quality matters, this is the way I'm doing it currently. Those kind of videos always start with a script. And I'm not going to get into all the various reasons as to why that's the case. Some of them will become apparent as I go through this, but basically here's my process. Writing a script lets me narrow down my message focus it in, really make it nice and tight. The other thing that the script provides me is the exact wording that I'm going to use and from that I can go ahead and pick out various elements to then build my slides because basically I want the words to be matched by visuals. Once my script is completed then and only then will I go ahead and start to design my slides. So here I basically gone through that process and created some nice slides with animations, transitions, and builds. And again, the secret sauce is that if I go back to my script, we'll see that a lot of the visuals come from the exact words. One specific technology is responsible for making more money, and that's where I basically got these two kinds of things in the world of online marketing today. So hopefully you kind of get the idea. To record my narration, this is my current process. Here I have my Word document, which has my script in it. And what I'm going to do is fire up the Camtasia recorder, and I'm going to record this all just full screen. So let me make a quick pass at that. In the world of online business today, it's becoming very clear that one specific strategy is responsible for making more money than anything else. And this, and there is one top weapon that a huge percentage of top internet marketers use for every aspect of their business to make sure they get as much profit from this strategy as possible. Can you guess what it is? If you're thinking it's something to do with video, you're on the right track. So I'm going to go through and finish reading the rest of the script, just like I started to. And when that's finished, I'm going to stop the Camtasia recorder and pull the recording file into Camtasia. In Camtasia, I'm going to go ahead and find my script narration recording file, open it, and add that to the timeline. Now, you may be wondering why I went ahead and recorded Microsoft Word full screen as I did the narration, and this is basically why. What it does is it gives me a very big and clear view of my script. I'm using the Camtasia recorder to record the narration, and it just happens to be capturing, I guess I'll call it my teleprompter for lack of a better term. But once I pull that into Camtasia, I don't need that anymore. So I'm going to click on the screen capture part of the track and just delete it. And then at this point, what I'm going to do is go through and scrub the audio and just remove mistakes. In the world of online business today, it's become very clear that one specific strategy is responsible for making more money than anything else. And there is one top weapon that the... And there's one... Okay, that's a goof. Let's get rid of that. And I'm going to leave a little bit of room. I'm not going to cut it, you know, too close here. I want a little bit of breathing room here. You'll see why in just a bit. But that mistake's got to go. Anything else. And there's one top weapon that a huge percentage of top internet marketers use for every aspect of their business to make sure they get as much profit from this strategy as possible. Can you guess what it is? If you're thinking it has something to do with the bit, if you're thinking it has, let's get rid of that. Can you guess what it is? 
If you're thinking it has something to do with video, you're on the right track. Hi, my name's Lon. A little bit more dead time there than I want, so I'm going to trim it. But again, leave myself some space here because slides have animations and transitions that actually take some time to complete. So I don't want to cut myself too short. Hi, my name's Lon Naylor. And on behalf of myself and my partner, Joey Soto, we'd like to welcome you to this video series. Okay, so now I basically have a clean audio track. The next step is to head back to PowerPoint. And what I'm going to do at this point is basically use the built-in capability of PowerPoint to record my slideshow. Again, remember I have slide builds, transitions, bullet builds, and all different kinds of motion and animation that I want to capture. Well, PowerPoint's going to do that for me. So I'm just going to go through this process. And one thing you might notice is that I'm going to spend a lot of time on each individual animation. In other words, I'm going to let this record very slowly. And you'll see why in a minute. So let's go into Record Slideshow. Hit the Record button in Presenter View and then again give myself some time and click. Make sure I have plenty of time and click. Notice I don't have to worry about the words or narration or anything like that. I'm just literally strolling through this at a very nice even slow pace and click. Let it go for a bit. Click to bring in the next bullet and next image. And click. This is a very low stress way to record your slides. And click. All I'm doing is capturing the animation. The slide builds, the bullet builds, the transitions. Click. and click and click and when I'm done all of that motion is going to be saved in the slide deck itself to get these out to pull into our Camtasia project I'll go to file export create video in full HD and create video and this is very important there's a known bug in PowerPoint with MP4 videos. They get glitchy, and this will drive you insane if you pull this into Camtasia and things are just kind of wonky. So to get around that, my fix is to hit the drop down, and instead of MP4, I'm always exporting as Windows Media File, or WMVs. And we'll go ahead and save that. That'll take a couple minutes to render out. So I'll go ahead and pause this, and then we'll come back and put it all together. All right, so back in Camtasia, let's go ahead and import our slide video into the clip bin. Now, one other step that I'm going to do before I start to put this together is I'm going to listen to my script. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. And what I'm looking for are the specific words where something happens, where a bullet comes in or a slide transitions. So let's give this a quick listen. In the world of online business today, it's become very clear that one specific strategy, okay, one specific strategy. If I go back to the slides, you'll notice that that's when the first item here needs to come in. Boom, there it comes, all right? So what I'm going to do in Camtasia is I'm going to drop a marker just before that on the audio track itself. Okay, so marker one means that the first piece of content comes in. Let's go ahead and listen. That one specific strategy is responsible for making more money than more money. That would be this item. So at the point in time where I start to talk about this, that's when I want the animation to come in. 
So again, I'm going to drop another marker. Let's continue. Making more money than anything else. And there's one top weapon that a... Okay, and there's one top weapon. Okay, one top weapon or tool that a huge percentage. And there's one top weapon that a huge percentage. All right, so I want that to start to bring in the next slide right here. And there's one top weapon that a huge percentage of top internet marketers use. Huge percentage top internet marketers use top internet marketers. That would be this build. Let's drop a marker of top internet marketers use for every aspect of their for every aspect of their business. And the next one is to profit for every aspect of their business to make sure they get as much profit from this strategy. Okay. Marker. To make sure they get as much profit from this strategy as possible. Can you guess what it is? Can you guess what it is? Okay, so that's a slide transition. Put a marker. And again, uh, it's good that I have a little bit of space here because remember a transition takes a certain amount of time to happen. So I'm kind of building that in here. Can you guess what it is? If you're thinking it has something to do with vid, okay, something to do with video. It's where the video screen comes in. And then the next piece is where we get introduced. If you're thinking it has something to do with video, you're on the right track. Hi, my name's La Marker. Hi, my name's Lon Naylor, and on behalf of myself and my partner Joey Soto, and my partner Joey Soto. All right, so I'm going to click the eyeglass here to view the entire timeline, and literally what I have here is a little map of when stuff is supposed to happen. Okay, so let's put the playhead back at the beginning, and at this point I'm going to right-click on my slide video and add that to the timeline. And what you'll see is that I got a whole lot more slides than I do audio, which, believe it or not, is exactly what I want. So let's zoom in on the timeline, and I'm going to lock the audio track so I don't mess it up. Because remember, I've already edited this, and let's just give it a run and see what happens. In the world of online business today, it's become very clear that one specific strategy is... Re okay, notice that? The one specific strategy, I want this thing to pop up, but it comes in late, right? So I'm going to put the playhead at the marker where I want it to happen and then I'm gonna highlight to the right until just before that animation comes in just before and hit the cut button and watch what happens I'm very clear that one specific strategy is perfect okay so let's jump to the next marker and let's highlight till just before that comes in and cut. It's responsible for making more money than anything else. And then next comes a slide transition. So let's highlight until just before that occurs. Don't forget you might have some effects here like this fade. So I'm going to get right to there and cut. Anything else. And there's one top weapon that a huge percentage of top. Okay, top internet marketers needs to be here. Just before the fade. 
cut. The top internet marketers use for, for every aspect of their business. Right there. For every aspect of their business to make sure. And the next bullet. Scrub, scrub. Right there. Cut. Aspect of their business to make sure they get as much profit from this strategy as possible. Can you guess? Can you guess what it is? I don't know. Let's see. And there's my transition right there. Cut. Can you guess what it is? If you're thinking it has something to do with video, and I might move this one just a little bit. If you're thinking it has something to do with video, Right about there. If you're thinking it has something to do with video, you're on the right track. Hi. All right. Next transition. Cut. Hi. My name's Lon Naylor, and on behalf of myself and my partner Joey Soto, and my partner Joey Soto. and my partner Joey Soto we'd like to welcome you to this video and that is basically it if we go back to the beginning and listen to this we're gonna find that things should line up just perfectly in the world of online business today it's become very clear that one specific strategy is responsible for making more money than anything else and there's one top weapon that a huge percentage of top internet marketers use for every aspect of their business to make sure they get as much profit from this strategy as possible. Can you guess what it is? If you're thinking it has something to do with video, you're on the right track. Okay, now the thing that makes this so easy is that I gave plenty of time before all of those builds. If you don't go through very slowly, then what's going to happen is something's going to come in too quickly and what you're going to have to do is extend frames instead of just highlighting and cutting. And that's not a huge problem. It just is more steps. It, it's more work. So that's why I always give plenty of time between all of my builds and then it's just a matter of doing exactly what I just did. Drop your markers where the action is supposed to happen. Highlight until it actually does happen and cut to bring it and snap it right perfectly into place. Well, that's basically it. Hope you found this useful and I'll see you next time.